Hi everybody, it's Camille B. And today I'm gonna show you how I achieved this cute little sleek, slick back look on my super, super fluffy hair. I love this look, so stay tuned. Hi beauties, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm just showing you guys what I'm using today. That's the Camille Rose Curl Maker, my Bora Bristle Brush, that's a tongue twister, my little handy um, baby hair brush from the beauty supply store, and that's a bottle, honestly, of just water. It used to have a really good coconut leave-in conditioner in it, but now it's just water, and you guys all know that's a ponytail holder and my handy little scarf and my dry dry hair <laughs> my hair is so dry um i think that's like maybe four days three or four days after a wash and go um so right now i'm just resaturating my hair with the water i want really want to get it really 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 damp not like dripping wet but definitely saturated um and rehydrated Water is really, really important for natural hair, um, just in case you didn't know. Natural hair needs water to grow and to be healthy, just like you water plants. Um, think of it like this. You know how they tell you like you should put your lotion and your oil, body oil on immediately after you get out of the shower because your hair, I mean your skin, it's more um, receptive to the moisture that you're trying to put on it and hair is the same way so right now i'm just taking a little dab of the camille rose curl maker this stuff is awesome you can get it i get mine from target um but i think you can also get it in walmart now as well it's awesome like eco styler who eco styler i don't even know who eco styler is anymore um this stuff is awesome it's very lightweight and it's not like your traditional gel at all. It's, it has the consistency kind of like a, a fresh aloe vera gel. Like if you take the aloe vera leaf and you scrape the, the gel out, it has that consistency. But no built product buildup is on your hair. It's not gross and sticky and all that stuff. So I'm just repeating the process on the other side. Just saturating the hair right now. And starting to brush it and smooth it over with my brush my brush is not super super coarse but it's not super super soft either which is important you don't want to damage your hair i'm using my comb to just detangle my roots a little bit so that when i brush this part will lay over really really smooth my hair is actually kind of fine in the crown of my head um, even though my hair looks really fluffy while it's dry, but once I start putting product in it, um, I don't, I don't want it to look thin. I want it to look really lush and full and smooth and shiny. So I just used the comb to detangle the roots so I could really, um, brush it smooth. Just kind of get my little swoop on here. Yeah, but once again, going back to the brush, the brush that I'm using, um, you don't want to use those brushes that are really, really coarse because they can damage your hair and, and pull your hair and yank it out. And my hair already <laughs> is in need of some repair, especially on the ends and around my edges, especially like my temples. So I try to be as gentle as possible when I'm brushing my hair. And it's really, really dry, guys. <laughs> so I'm just making sure it's super saturated. Awesome. So now I'm about to just kind of pull it back with the ponytail holder. Just to hold it in place because it makes it easier for me to mold my hair. 
when it's kind of pulled back to the nape of my neck, I have a little bit more control than when it's loose because my ends aren't really saturated with the water. So they're really kind of fluffy. So I'm just pulling my hair back so I can finish um, styling my hair now. And guys, I have really learned through trial and error what works for my hair. I've been natural all of my life, but I never was or considered myself to be like a natural hair guru. I always loved natural hair and I was always into it. But as far as like all of the research that I see some people have done on natural hair, which I find really commendable, I wasn't that person. I hadn't really studied. I just kind of played. And through trial and error, I finally kind of found out what works and what, you know, allows me to manipulate my hair into the styles that I want. So now I'm just using my trusty black girl head scarf right now and I'm tying my hair down. I like to do that and tie it down for at least like a minute because it just makes the hair really, really smooth and it kind of molds the hair, makes it super shiny and ties down and smooths away any flyaways that may be there. So I, I always tie my hair down, um, when I, especially when I do sleek styles or when I pull my hair up into a ponytail, I always tie it down for a few minutes. Now, the thing that I don't do is wear a scarf to bed, which I know I probably should. I know I'm supposed to be sleeping on a satin pillowcase and wearing a satin scarf and satin bonnets and all this kind of stuff, but girl, I don't. <laughs> And maybe I should, my edges might be paying for it, but I really don't, I tend, I kind of sleep wild. So I feel like no matter what I sleep in, I always wind up sleeping it off. It never stays in place. So I kind of don't bother. Like when I come home, I usually will just, um, I'll pull my hair out of the, oh, she's done now. <laughs> That's what that means. She's done. She's, she's finished baking. But I'll just pull my hair out of the ponytail holder and braid it back and that'll be it. And I'll go to sleep like that. But I'll I'll put forth a little bit more effort into maybe at least sleeping on a satin pillowcase. That should help. So right now I'm just taking my hair, all of my hair in the back and twisting it on itself um, into like a little, a really small little bun. And then I'm just securing it back with the um, ponytail holder. Because I want it to be really sleek. I don't want you to be able to see like hair from the front. Um, I've been really toying with cutting my hair off. And so in order to kind of satisfy uh, that urge, I've been wearing it really, really sleek. So it can kind of give you the impression of like a really short kind of finger wave style. Um, right now I'm putting the, the hair, the bobby pins in. Just some little small gold bobby pins I actually got from Target in the hair care, of uh, the natural hair care section. And um, you can wear gold or silver. I like gold, so I chose the little gold ones, but you can do black. Whatever floats your boat, you know, whatever floats your boat. I like the gold and you can do it on both sides or just the one side like I'm doing it. I kind of like the one side because it looks really elegant and kind of sleek and classy but if you wanted to do both sides and go for a more artsy look you definitely could um I just like putting the two or three in and sometimes I'll mold my hair in the front to kind of resemble more of like a finger wave effect um when I put the bobby pins in but right now I'm just putting in maybe like I think three or four in there just to um, secure it. And I don't sleep in these when I come home. And before I go to bed, like I said, I normally don't tie my hair down. But I will take the bobby pins out. And that helps the style to stay. For me, the style will last me like two days if I if I don't untie the bun in the back. And of course, I do. I, I always have to refresh my hair. I don't care if my hair was molded down with cement. I would have to refresh my hair and brush it, uh, re-wet it and brush it, but I don't have to take it down out of the ponytail. So, um, yeah, this style should last me about at least a day or two. 
And like I said, I'll just go back and refresh it and touch it up a little bit. But other than that, this is the pretty much the final result. I wish I would have gotten a little bit closer for you guys so you could see better. But yeah, whenever I start rocking a style, <laughs> I keep it up. So <laughs> I'll be rocking this for a couple more days. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye.